I was talking to my husband the other night and I was like, oh my gosh, this time of year is when I normally, in fall, would start shifting to red wine. I was a seasonal wine drinker. Red wine during fall and winter and rosé during spring and then white during summertime and maybe that's not something to be proud of but if you're anything like me and the seasons changing make you want to drink during fall sitting around drinking red wine was what I did what else was there to do but during fall I actually like getting out and walking more and hiking and we do more fall events like pumpkin patches and just spending more time with our family going outside just chilling playing ball taking the dogs for walks going to movies I mean there's so many things that you can do besides sitting around and drinking all day long on stormy days I know that a lot of us think that there's, well, what else do I do? I'm just going to go to the store and buy a bottle of wine or liquor, whatever it is, your choice. I would drink a Kirkland slash Costco size bottle of red wine. They were $7.99 and I would drink that in one night because there was nothing else for me to do. But now I play games with my kids, we snuggle more, I read at night. And if I haven't gotten a, my second workout in, I'll work out in the evenings. So what I'm trying to say is even though the weather changes, it doesn't mean or give you an excuse to go and drink. If it's raining outside, if it's windy, if it's cold, find something else to do. Go to the movies, go walk around a park, play with your kids, call a friend, go to coffee. There's so many other things to do besides sitting and drinking. For all of you going through something terrible right now, like the season's changing, hang in there. I know it's tough. Drinking our seasonal depression away is not gonna help you at all. I highly suggest finding a fun fall mocktail as well. There's so many different juices out there right now and I highly suggest not drinking a ton of sugar, but whatever gets you through the first several weeks is what you have to do. Once the season shifted and winter was over, the weather started getting nicer, I would start drinking rosé. Rosé all day, oh my gosh, isn't that a fun word to say, but springtime rosé, but guess what? There's so many things to do besides drink your spring away. I mean, put a spring in your step. Maybe if you've been walking all winter and fall, maybe try to up your workouts. Maybe try some workout classes. Maybe start jogging a little bit. I don't know. Just up your intensity instead of turning to wine once again. I know for moms, a lot of us think that that's all we need to do is drink to get through young children. That is not the case. There's so many, so many things to do during spring. I don't know where you live, but I know at least for me, there's a lot of pottery places, a lot of ceramic places. Maybe those are the same thing, but woodworking Line places. One, woodworking places. There's so many fun little boutiques. There's so many fun little cafes. I mean, there's so many things to do. Just grab a friend or go by yourself. I don't know. And summertime, my life consumed around white wine. And not impressed. I would waste most of my days and weekends focusing on drinking white of any kind. If it was bubbly, it was fun, mimosas all the time, i that's how I got my friends together. And now, I mean, 
nobody wants to spend five to ten dollars on a cup of coffee but they'll sure soak in a couple bottles or more of champagne and orange juice just doesn't seem right I mean that was the easy thing to do is drink your seasonal depressions away drink with friends get everybody together like hey let's grab a bottle of wine and drink but there's more to life than that I went to a movie with the, some friends um, last weekend uh, you just I haven't been to movies as much like prior to quitting drinking as like lately like when I quit drinking that's one of the things that I realized that I missed doing was going to movies yeah we would go to movies and drink but I wouldn't remember the movie <laughs> but there's a lot more to life than what you're choosing to drink which season and how to get people together I know one of somebody that I know brought up well maybe people think that you're snobby now that you quit drinking okay well I kind of felt snobby being a wino I mean what's the difference people are gonna look at you regardless whether you're drinking or you're not drinking and I know not drinking can come off a little intimidating to people that are still drinking and a lot of the comments that I've gotten are well screw what they think obviously screw what they think but also I do care what people think and that's the problem I have to work on I'm working on it it's not easy but I'm not as <laughs> here's the thing I drink to be around drunk people and now I don't drink so being around annoying drunk people is even is even worse um, it's not <clears throat> that I can't go to dinner with friends and they drink that's fine I don't care if we go to their house and they have wine that's totally fine it's not me that's drinking it it's not me that has to feel like crap it's not me that has to use alcohol anymore to engage with people I think that's the hard thing is a lot of people think that we have to drink to engage with people and we don't wine was the easy way to get people together and it's always you see in every movie do you want a glass of wine I'll bring some wine over and all the women are surrounded by bottles of wine I don't understand it why can't we be surrounded by water bottles or coffee or sparkling waters I don't know it's just something to think about like is your social circle consumed with only being able to get together when there's alcohol involved if so I think you should find a different social circle if you're wanting to quit alcohol because wine isn't the answer I don't care I had somebody when we quit drinking it was probably spring of 23 because we are not 23 24 we quit drinking July 2023 and went to this dinner party it wasn't really a party it was just some school friends and one of the moms was like well, why can't you have this it's only like five percent alcohol because I'm not drinking people just are so clueless and it goes hand in hand with food like my husband's doing carnivore well why can't you just eat that it has protein in it okay well <laughs> why don't y'all just shove your face full of what you want and drink whatever you want and leave those that are trying to eat healthier and not drink alone like you don't try to push alcohol on somebody that is trying to quit alcohol and I'm at a place now in my sobriety that I can be around and go to places with alcohol I don't partake I don't have to come home with these people and I get to leave and I get to wake up feeling great so if you are in the early stages of drinking or sobriety I highly suggest not putting yourself in triggering situations and don't focus on 
<laughs> what flavor of the week you're drinking. Maybe the flavor is a seltzer water. What, like, is there fall seltzer waters that you like? I know there's a lot of options out there. So I'm very seasonal person. Like in my house, I will only use fall scents during fall, only winter scents during winter, summer, and spring, same thing. So that's why I'm saying if you're a seasonal drinker, find a seasonal alternative and run with it. It's kind of funny how some of our minds work and if your life consumes alcohol and your every day is revolved around alcohol, you have to take yourself out of these situations. I've had some comments about, well, if it's two o'clock and I'm in the kitchen, that's my trigger. They don't go to the kitchen around two o'clock. Five o'clock they get home and what do you do? You pour a glass of wine or a whiskey to ease your day. Well, don't go to the kitchen when you get home. Go to the living room or go somewhere else. Go outside, go for a walk to, you know, calm down your day. Don't rely on alcohol to get you through easier said than done, but I have lost way too many nights and evenings with my family because I chose to drink wine. And yes, I drink everything, but I'm just saying you're classier if you drink wine, right? Snobbier, whatever people want to call it. And it's okay because it's wine. It's good for you in moderation, not when you have a drinking problem. And like I said in my very first video, I didn't realize I had a problem until I quit drinking and I realized I had a problem. So no, didn't go to AA, didn't go to rehab, didn't need medicine. All I needed was a shift in my mindset. And I think that's what a lot of us lack is you want to quit drinking, but where's your mindset? Your mindset is still, I'm stressed. I'm going to drink. I had a bad day at work. I'm going to drink. Something went wrong in my life. I'm going to drink. Your job sucks. You want to drink. Well, change. What is happening in your life to make you drink? It's not necessarily all alcohol's fault. It's your fault for keeping doing the same patterns. You change the patterns in your life and you will easily see the shift of alcohol move out of it. And I know, like I said, easier said than done, but you have to change your surroundings. Look for a different job if you hate your job. If you don't like something in your life, confront it. If you're in a terrible relationship, leave it. I mean, your heart might hurt, but alcohol is destroying you even more. Heartbreaks you can heal from. Alcoholism can kill you. So figure it out. Get rid of the toxic in your life. If you live paycheck to paycheck, find an avenue to stop living paycheck to paycheck because you're probably stressed about money, which in return is going to make you want to drink because that's how you cope. Find different coping mechanisms. I don't think turning to alcohol is helping you. I think too many of us for far too long have turned to alcohol to cope with life. And I see it in, in everybody that I know, those that still drink. Well, I gained 30 pounds because I just can't stop drinking. It's my indulgence at night or work's been stressful or I don't know, wine is just too easy to get a hold of. So is a lot of alcohol, but if you drink wine, in my opinion, you don't feel as bad about yourself because apparently there's this sti like this thing around wine where if you drink wine, it, you're fancy, you're, well, it's just wine, who cares? It's good for your heart. I used to, in my mind, red wine was my go-to for two seasons because it was heart healthy 
and and apparently I read some things where if you drink like a glass of wine it means like an hour of cardio in the gym you guys we're going to find all the excuses to drink <laughs> and if you're anything like me they're stupid excuses you're lame <laughs> for making every excuse under the stars to shove alcohol in your face when i look back at all the excuses that i made all these years i shake my head at myself like okay you have to grab a bottle of wine on your way home so you can celebrate you had a good day not a bad day or you have to grab a bottle of wine on the way home because you had a bad day not a good day think look at that look at the circle that we just did it doesn't matter where you are in life put the bottle down try it for 30 days i posted a challenge that i would love for you guys to check out and give it a shot please it is a version that helped me but i think that it's a simpler version and i will talk about it in my next video don't stop on the way home for wine just because you had a good day or a bad day don't do it. Just because it's raining outside, it doesn't give you an excuse to drink. Find a different crockpot meal to make. Play a game or go buy a new game. I don't know. Go to the store and see what festive non-alcoholic drinks there are. But you have it in you. You just haven't wanted it bad enough yet. That's the thing. And I know a lot of you are going to hate me for saying that, but it's you you're your problem you have to decide what you want in your life is it alcohol free or do you want to let alcohol consume your life me i realized alcohol was consuming my life and i wanted nothing more to do with it as soon as i realized it but please comment below what some of your favorite fall activities are because I would love to know if there's anything that I'm missing and maybe try something. So thanks for watching. Please comment below what helps you during the seasons changing and let me know how you guys are doing.